So you come to hang out with uh, old bat Jack JW here on Thanksgiving. I guess you must have snuck away from your family and got onto the uh, computer here and decided to see what we're doing here for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, or, um, you know, some some people, you know, maybe they they didn't get together for Thanksgiving. Maybe uh, everybody else, you know, passed on or, you know, unfortunately, or they're alone, so... Uh, whatnot, but no, you're here with me, and uh, I'm here there with you right there on the screen. So, happy Thanksgiving to you. And uh, maybe you're eating turkey alone, or uh, you know, maybe even, like I said, you broke away from the family and just decided that ah, I'll see what Bat Jack JW's doing. <laughs> so, uh, we brought out some uh, stuff, you know, just a little bit of a special Thanksgiving little gathering here, and uh, decided to bring out some cool stuff for you. Hey, you know what, Joe P. If you happen to be watching this, I brought something out for you. Then we brought this specifically for you. <laughs> so um, now we brought out some cool, cool go goodies, but oldies. Uh, you know, oldies but goodies. I think that's what they would say. You know, we got the uh, um, we got the high standard. This is a high standard uh, riot. I think they call this. Um, it's a high standard model K120. Uh, it actually does say Riot on it. Uh, and this one here, I've had it for a long time actually. And I bought this because, um, we'll give you a better look at it. Um, there's the uh, corn cob on it, big old corn cob, and the bead front sight there. Um, I bought this because of the movie The Getaway. And if you like the movie The Getaway with Steve McQueen, then you definitely uh, know this shotgun and probably had a itch to find one or, or at least wonder what it was. And this is what he had. It's a high standard. It's got a little bit of uh, rust on it that I'm noticing. Actually, I don't bring it out often, so I should put, uh, put a little bit of um, ballastol on this area here. Yeah, we'll, get, well actually, we'll do that right now for you. Just so we don't uh, neglect this thing. Yeah. Put a little ballastol right here. Because I see some rust appearing. I use ballastol uh, because I like it. And it seems to work really well for me. Uh, and especially on the island. When I lived on the island, um, when I started to get use ballastol, um, really I had no problems, no problems with rust. Um, this is an old, uh, this is an old dirty gun, that's for sure. Um, I, I've ended up finding this at a uh, a pawn shop. I'm trying to see what the, some goobers or something in there. You know, I have so messed with this thing so very little that um, I ended up finding this at a pawn shop. And I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. And I said, I, I got to have that thing because um, it was a Steve McQueen shotgun. When I first moved out here, I had found one of the or saw one of these things at a gun show. And I got a gun show, and I, I could tell it was it because you can tell the high standard because it's got this great big corn cob uh, front end on it. And I saw it, and I the guy ahead of me that was looking at it already had bought it. And that's what it kind of seems like. Anytime these things pop up, they kind of get sold. They they do kind of end up buying it. Now this one here, from what I understand, was a police model for sure because there's actually a spot right here where the uh, the clamp clamped onto it in the police car and so I, I shot it once uh, it does shoot it shoots uh, fairly well actually um, but I mostly just uh, you know I just kind of wanted it and it's you know it's a it's really loose you know I should probably get this thing and uh, tighten some things up on it or fix it but yeah it's definitely it's um it needs some uh, probably some tender loving care <laughs> and probably should Take it uh, and take it down and uh, check it out and, and lube it up or something or you know oil it up. 
because uh, it does. It definitely has some, some spots of rust on it. We'll leave it right there. So, but yeah, we uh, brought that one out for uh, for Joe B because he always seemed to be uh, talking about it and everything. So we, we brought that out, and then uh, brought out uh, the old Model Twenty Eight. Uh, of course, the uh, the latest uh, acquisition for the channel, and decided to bring that back out and got the uh, the wood grip or the uh, so check this out all right there's the grips on there okay I actually made those grips can you believe that there it is your guys are hearing it first right here on Thanksgiving I had actually found out I, I was looking at it and looking at it and always thought about it and I actually figured out how to get these magna grips made. That's what they are. There's magna grips. You can see the backs of them are pretty ugly. But uh, that's it. And I uh, these are the other set that I did, which are the uh, brown-orange retro deal. And, I, and those actually, the, the gold logos came out a bit better. The, this is a... This one's the uh, the wood looking one that I did just to kind of style it and they're chewed up looking and that's kind of what I wanted. The cool thing is that you know all the little dents and everything kind of popped in there and made it look uh, kind of cool. And I got this one here too I made. And these, these are a little bit more orange, uh, reddish orange in color. I like that retro uh, throwback look. And as far as the... Uh, the the putting them together what you call the uh, the screw and everything like that actually this one here is this one actually might be an, an actual original screw from one of my other ones but far as the uh, the stuff that I use to put it all together go down to the local hardware store and you can actually find in their screws brass screws like this with the round top with just a slot and they're they're usually only you know whatever 30 cents or something like that for one of these maybe less and far as what they call the escutcheon which is the part that the screw screws into all that is is the matching hex nut that goes for it with it and then on the other side, just for a, a, back, a, a backer, I just put a lock washer in there. And you can buy all these near the same section. And literally, they're, yeah, what are the, you know, they're, you know, 25 cents or whatever a piece. Yeah, and they're still, that's still coming out cheaper than buying them on uh, Brownells or something like that. Nothing wrong with the ones you buy from there, but I, I just kind of want to have access to, you know, those. And the other thing that's really important to have if you're doing grips like this, especially like this, is there's a bit that they sell. And the bit will countersink your, your grips for you. And Brownell sells the bit. It's kind of expensive. The bits are getting they're, they're expensive, but they're worth it because tools like that, if you're doing this a lot like I am, uh, it's it's kind of a mandatory thing to have because if not, you're just kind of guessing on screwing things together. And some companies, I notice, um, they'll sell you a set of like 1911 grips, but they won't even um, drill the holes for you. Uh, and I've seen that. And you kind of left uh, your own devices to, to do so. So you got to kind of do that yourself. So, but yeah, the, those grips are, I made those grips on there. And there you have it. So this is kind of the new... The new uh, you know workhorse revolver that I added to the range package deal. Um, of course, you know did some selling and everything and and all that to get it. Um, and that's the other thing too. Like I get this kind of question a lot often. They say, uh, you know, oh well, how many guns do you have or whatnot? Um, uh, one less than I need, right? But no, um, actually I do. Uh, for the channel, we're very lucky to. We have a lot of people that are close to us that will lend us stuff uh, so that's what's cool about that uh, I do get a lot of things that are lent to us that a friend of mine will say hey take it make a video so we'll make a few videos out of the same gun and then return it 
and then kind of go through and hash those videos out uh, during kind of the timeline and look at what's going on in the channel, what kind of videos we've got uh, coming out and for you guys, uh, for, you, for you to view it. Uh, believe it or not, we do keep an eye on what kind of videos we're doing. And we just, I mean, I don't want to, even though, yeah, you know, it's pretty obvious that I'm, you know, really into revolvers and 1911s, especially old school government model 1911s. Uh, that's kind of my area of interest. Uh, that's what I like. So, but uh, they're, they're not all mine. Uh, a lot of times we do get the opportunity to video something that doesn't belong to me. But, you know, anytime to get something new on the channel is a great thing. Also... Um, at one time, I did have a nice collection, but you know, since then, sold a lot of it off. Um, you know, for a number of reasons, mostly just you know, just put a little bit more money in the bank, and you know, just uh, trading things out. You know, sometimes I see stuff like this that I just gotta have it, so I gotta go take something and trade it or sell it, and uh, that's usually what will happen. I'll trade something out uh, for a while you know I'll keep something you know that'll be around sometimes it's an impulse buy that I'll just have to have for a little bit and then I'll get bored with it and just sell it off or trade it off so I'll, off it goes and lately I've been on a kick where I just kind of I kind of stepped away from stuff that if it wasn't directly going to the range or messing with it like I said not to rehash that whole conversation but that's been just, uh, you know, let it go. Uh, just, I'll, I'll get rid of it and off it goes. So, um, no, but, you know, a lot of stuff that I've had over the years, I had my fun with it. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it while I had it. And I, you know, I just, I moved it on and it, it just went on. And hopefully now it's, in, you know, somebody else owns it and takes care of it and enjoys it just as I once did. But, um, yeah, I do. I get bored with it and it's just something that I don't feel because, I kind of stopped being such a, you know, just accumulation of, of all this stuff and just start easier, easier to let it go. And once you start just passing them down the road, you start passing them on down and they just, you know, oh, well, you know, I, I had them, I had fun with it and it goes away. Some things I'll rebuy. Um, we had a six inch model of, of the Model 28 and it gorgeous but it was a six inch barrel and it reminded me a lot of the dirty hairy gun and it's like well, i don't necessarily what do you do with this you know um another reason why i really am a fan of the the 28 is one is cheaper <laughs> hey rich <laughs> two um it's not as uh it's not as luxurious as the 27 i know that you know the finish is uh you know it, it's got a great finish on it it, I, I'm happy with it. It's got a beautiful, you know, shiny enough for me, um, but it doesn't have that such a, oh, you know, it's so polished and beautiful like uh, the old slab sides here. Of course, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, that that's just, that's just a cult for you. Um, but, you know, I just, it's not going to be something that I, it's so gorgeous that I end up shooting it once or twice cleaning up, putting it away, and then it never sees the range again. Uh, and that's, when that started happening with stuff, I started getting really tired of that, and I started saying, well, you know what? If ain't going to be using it or ain't going to be taking it at range, off it goes. Get rid of it. <laughs> start taking it down. Um, but no, uh, Stephen, uh, I believe Stephen, the K, if you're listening or whatever, uh, yeah, this reason we brought out the old government model here. This is a Mark IV Series 70, and it's one of my, uh, I love, you know, 1911s, as you guys know, and it's one of my favorite uh, 1911s because of its, uh, it's really basic. There's no frills, no thrills. Uh, it's got those itty-bitty sights, yeah. And, you know, this is a Series 70. It's got the collet barrel bushing. This is my shooter. Uh, I'll take it out and, and shoot it. And, of course, you know, like uh, with everything else, this one's got a couple spots on it. Yeah, there's a couple little freckling and some, I don't know, stuff that kind of built up here and there on it. I don't even know what happened here. Maybe some, you know, just some chips and things like that in it. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's good enough for me. I, I enjoy it. Um, I take care of it and do the maintenance on it and keep it uh, keep it up and running. But I, I'll take it to the range and I will enjoy it and I will shoot it. And... It does well at the range. It really does. And I always put, uh, you can always tell that with the uh, these collet barrel bushings. 
they will um, they will put that scratch right there on the front of the muzzle. Put a little oil on there and it, it kind of helps it lock in. But you can feel it too. It'll grip onto that barrel. So see if uh, I don't know. I, I know you're kicking around the idea to pick it up from the shop or not. I don't know if you did or ended up trading them or maybe uh, talk them down a little bit in that price. <laughs> Sometimes that's always a, a good thing. Yeah, so. But, uh, you know, that's been always the fun thing out here, you know, moving out here and being out in the, the, uh, the wonderful desert, I guess, um, is being able to find stuff like this out here. And, and it's no sweat, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, like my buddy and I, we joke around us all the time. It's like, oh, great. You know, we're going out into these shops and, like, the last thing we want to do is see something they can't live without. <laughs> so it's like, oh, great. Now i got to have that. Now i gotta, I've got to, you know... Put that in, in the stocking, as they say, so, or, you know, put that on on layaway. And that's a lot of, you know, I mean, bless the layaway, because without it, most of us, I mean, it, myself, definitely, I wouldn't be able to get, the, get any of this, get my grubby hands on most of this stuff, but, you know, I got to look for, you know, I got to look for flawed stuff. That, that's just how it is. I think we talked about that. As long as it's original, for the most part, uh, and it's not something that's uh, totally, you know, like this one here. You know, I, I I wanted it because you know what, it had some it had some marks on it, and I said, you know what, I can live with that. I think um, I think it maybe had uh, I had some of these stocks laying around that were the original Series 70 stocks. I think it had some Packmeyers on there, and I took those off, and you know, it had some it had some goober on it, like some. I think like the the grip had like a rubber holder or something like that on this, and it was really it melted and it turned all nasty. You know, it had some you know rubber and there's still some stuck on there. Really, I mean you can see it there. I don't know really what it is. It's like some kind of rubber rubber band or something that they held it in place there, and it just turned disgusting. It melt, but you know it had that you know. And, of course, uh, you know, always take a look at the sides of the uh, hammer, you know, because those are those should be sided, and that you know, of course, had some some goo on it or something like that, some stuff like, you know, and of course, you know, it had a couple spots. Like I said, it's splattered with some spots. Could be blood, actually. <laughs> Tell you the truth, uh, maybe somebody took it hunting, or uh, you know, or worse. But, you know, it, it, had, it had some, you know, it, it was, you know, it wasn't the greatest condition. But that's fine because I just wanted it to shoot and have fun with it. And if it got scratched, oh, well, you know, I don't, uh, I'm not going to uh, fret on it too bad. And I do take it out and shoot it. It's a good, it's a good golden oldie, you know. It's still mechanically sound. It, there was nothing, you know, dramatically wrong with it. So... Ah, why the heck not? You know, so that that's the, that's the one I got. So, you know, and that it just that being you know going back to the thing where I I can't afford a pristine one and brand new in the box and shell out whatever they're going for two thousand dollars or something like that some crazy number that you know these things always seem to keep getting up up there and up there, you know. So I I just um, I settle for if it's got a few s scars or flaws or whatnot. That's the one for me. Marks the price down a little bit. It makes it available to us so where I can afford it. So uh, I jump in on that. Okay, I guess that's the one for me. So like the uh, you know this old shotgun here, you know it's definitely that's strange. I've I have not messed with this thing a whole lot. It has got so many markings on it that I am I actually never really took the time to look at. It's got all kinds of stampings on it. Like this one says BHSP. It's got an oval and it says BHSP. And then it's got AQ right over here. Probably some kind of quality check or some kind of some kind of deal. And there's a another stamp above that. I don't know if it's a proof thing, but it does say proof tested. 12 gauge, two and three quarter chamber. So this one will not shoot a um, a three inch shell. It's a two and three quarter and only, which for me, why, why I, I mean, 
I always said a box of three inch shells. I mean, does that does that come with a shoulder replacement? Um, you know, Riot. You know, it says Riot here, uh, eighteen dash seven. Maybe if that means it's an eighteen inch barrel with a uh, seven in the magazine tube. You know, and it's got another funny looking symbol there with like looks like a trigger with a line through it. Model K one twenty. If you're wondering what it is, it's a K one twenty riot or high standard hamden connecticut usa made usa <laughs> but you know really really neat shotgun it really is um you know again it's it's all still mechanically sound and everything and i've never really taken it apart or anything like that actually i might uh i might one day do that and uh just see about taking all this apart and just kind of servicing it or, or really looking at it. I, I never really did. Looking at the front of the bolt. Let's see, we got some stuff on there. But yeah, I never uh, shot it. Shot it once. Again, this is one of those things where it's like, but I'm not a, you know what, for something like this, like I will take it out and shoot it. I will take it out, have fun with it and shoot it. Plus, uh, you know, this is, you know me and movie stuff, and I got it. This is just one that I'm just gonna have to hang on to, and it's not a very at least or you know when I bought, I think I paid like three or four hundred bucks for it at a pawn shop, you know. So literally a pawn shop buy. <laughs> so that's not usually where I go anyway. The bargain bin. <laughs> Speaking for myself, right? Like I said, there's so much weird. Uh, uh, areas on this thing that just accumulated dust or I don't know what like that that's a bunch of like rust or goo or I'm gonna have to soak this thing in ballast all real quick before we put it back away because uh, it needs it needs to at least have something on it because uh, it looks like I've neglected it too much but anyway anyway uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving um, you know, glad to, you know, if you want to hang out and check out the channel here a little bit and do a little uh, Thanksgiving uh, video for you. And so hopefully everybody's having a good one. And, you know, be it if you're, uh, you know, alone or whatnot, I'm sorry. Uh, at least, you know, come and hang out with, uh, with me for a little bit here. And uh, hopefully you have a better one. Uh, if not, hopefully you get back out there to the rest of the family and kind of bear bear with that right <laughs> so, i know how that can be i do know how that can be so until then there you go i appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel that has been watching for years some of you or if you're new to the channel welcome in and uh, this is just kind of stuff we do i love this kind of stuff oldies but goodies a lot of it movie related just can't help it love all those old movies and i love stuff like that because Steve McQueen and all those cool guys, this is the stuff they carried. He says, yeah, you know what this is, mister. I want a shotgun, 12-gauge pump. <laughs>